Good morning and welcome to Jack Rabbit Trader where we teach you how to stop predicting and start reacting. My name is Steve and in this video we're going to take a look at the markets for the upcoming week of July 17th, 2017. I hope everyone had a great week. Markets were really strong. You know, if you're on the long side, you should have seen some nice uh, profits, especially from some of the names we've been talking about. Um, so we're going to go through that and go through the, the sectors and the the current watch list. Before we do that, I just want to point out I did post another uh, blog post this week. Um, number seven, this was master the weekly chart and let the winners run. So basically everything we've been talking about, how you really need to get out of that daily time frame and start looking at the weekly time frame. I even put some of my actual uh, rules that I use to manage those positions. Um, in in the in the article and then at the end you know for anyone who's inclined to uh, you can sign up and I'll send you my actual steps for entering a weekly breakout and I'll show them to you real quick those are right here alright so identify the weekly trend wait for the weekly breakout and calculate your position size there's really not much more to it than uh, going through those steps and making sure that they meet your criteria for entering the trade um, but those are my actual steps for entering weekly breakouts. It's exactly what I do in the Jackrabbit Club. Um, and it's exactly what I do each and every day. Um, and we make returns. You know, Right now I'm sitting on almost 9% of open profit just by following a simple process and managing it at the end of every week. So if you want to learn how to do that um, by signing up for the weekly breakout trade, you'll also be getting the... Uh, subscription to the free subscription to uh, the Jackrabbit Club. So, with that said, let's take a look at the markets. All right, first one we're looking at is the S and P futures, um, and you can see we've talked about this uptrend being in place. Talked about the accelerated uptrend being in place. We had a breakout, a small consolidation, and now we're breaking out once again. So, um, you know, markets as, as I said were strong this week. Any kind of inclination of maybe breaking down that we had uh, a few weeks ago, uh, I think has been rejected um, with this new breakout. So in this case, if you were trading the futures or even trading the SPY, um, this would be a spot that <clears throat> you would want to either look to add to your position or uh, just at least trail the stop up to this new consolidation low. Um, so that's how we trade. Again, in the Jack Rabbit Club, we just wait for the markets to kind of tell us when and where. Uh, we need to do anything. Uh, NQs, all right, again, had a couple weeks where we had some big, strong moves to the downside. Now this week, a strong move to the upside. There was a thought at one point about having a downtrend in place. Um, and that, to me, at this point, looks to be uh, broken. Okay, we had these two lows, or this, I'm sorry, this high and this lower high, all right, and now based on this week's bar we've broken that that downtrend line now we haven't broken necessarily this this high to really put in the thought of you know this this one being invalidated but the downtrend line is invalidated uh, and we're still sticking with this uptrend line if you want to tweak this a little bit uh, you can do so there but you know obviously we'll have some resistance up here around 5890 uh, but you know again see where this goes um, you know, to me right now, it looks like if we can get some continued strength, uh, we have a new low, all right, a new low in place, um, and but that low is not confirmed until we see a new high. The Dow, the Dow was always the stronger of the three uh, through this last few weeks. You could see very little pullback um, over the last three weeks, and then finally we have this nice big open candle here, and that one, you know, essentially just continues the trend all right you can see there's a trend line right in through there all right low high low high all right so we're, we're moving up all right and if you wanted to if you want to get really tight with everything uh, you can consider these last three weeks as maybe a type of consolidation but that's way too tight for me um, and we're just seeing a new breakout along an uptrend all right just stay along the trend that's that's the whole point so 
looking at some of the sectors, XLF this week. All right, so the XLF has outperformed over the last 30 days. That's how we sort this sidebar here. Um, so essentially you have uh, the percent change for the day, but then this last column is the percent change over the last 30 days. And I keep the SPY in there, so I always know which sectors are outperforming the SPY this week or the last 30 days. It's been the financials, healthcare, materials, and industrials. All right, they've all been outperforming. We've talked about utilities, staples, discretionary, um, energy, and tech all underperforming. But you can see here, the XLF over the last 30 days has been up 5.86%, SPY 0.9%. But when you look at the chart, all right, what's happening? The, well, the XLF is coming up into the resistance, right? This previous high that was made right around this 25 area, we had a pullback and now we're trying to test that again. So this is a key level. If we start to break down from here, you know, maybe this is a double top um, in the XLF. Maybe it's just part of a bigger consolidation that's going to happen between 25 and 22. Who knows? For right now, we're hitting resistance. While we did pull back further during the week, we recouped a lot of those uh, gains or those losses, uh, I think on Thursday and Friday. Um, so, you know, there we are in the XLF, just a, something to keep, be aware of, even though it has outperformed, it's had a good run. Um, and we're sitting up against resistance. So the financials right now seeing some weight, I think that's part of, I think, uh, somebody had earnings yesterday. I think it was JPM, um, had some earnings, you know, bank of America, I think has earnings on, on Monday. So, we're starting to get in the thick of earnings season and we're gonna get some some moves here and there uh, that may not necessarily correspond with what has been happening over the last 30 days. XLV, nice big move, couple days or a couple weeks of pullback and now looks like maybe uh, this could be a new low here on a, and a move uh, up to the $80 level. XLB breaking out once again Okay, so you had the move, pullback. We always go to the high of the move, down to the low close. All right, so there's your consolidation. And, you know, you can see it basically came back and tested the previous breakout, right? And now we're breaking higher. XLI continues to just move higher, right? Another, I would say, maybe accelerated trend line. Looks like it's developing here along these. Uh, lows here, right? You can see where those tails or those wicks, candle wicks are coming into, right? But ultimately, all time highs. Uh, SPY, very similar to the uh, futures, all right? So if you wanted to get long the market, you could definitely do so here, trail that stop up. Um, that's a very valid, uh, I guess, process or strategy, especially in some smaller accounts. Just trade the, just trade the big ETFs. Right, the SPY, the QQQ, and the diamonds. All right, manage them like you would any other trade. Uh, and then you can feel a little bit more comfortable putting a little more risk at the table because you're only really trading three and you're either gonna be in them or you're gonna be in cash. Um, XLK, all right, again, similar to the Qs, had that what we thought was maybe a downtrend broken. And you can see here the difference between this and the, and the, the NQ futures or the, the NASDAQ futures is we actually did break above this bars high, all right? Where there's the NQ, we didn't. The, the XLK did, and let's just check the Qs and see what they did. Uh, and they look like they did not. Yep, came right to it. All right, so the XLK did break that high, all right? So, it is what it is, you know, I don't know if it necessarily means anything important, but just know it broke the high. Uh, energy continues to, to trade lower along this downtrend, you know, until this trend is broken, I'm, I'm, I would put my money to the short side here more than the long side. Uh, the XLY may be bottoming out, all right, along this uh, 89 level. You can see this, let's see. Right, so this level here, this 89 level, is held multiple times. Um, you know, held again. So do we reverse? Do we go sideways, break down? We'll see. XLP, all right, after this big move, 
All right, so look, we got a breakout. That breakout was rejected, came straight back down to the support, all right, of this original breakout, broke below it, and now put in a solid hammer, all right? So this is a reversal symbol uh, or signal to me. Uh, any trade back over 55, let's call it, uh, I think you can get long the XLP here with a trade uh, with a stop under the 5350 area. Um, and I think that's a pretty solid setup based on what I'm seeing. It may very well pre present a lower high. So that's one other thing we have to look at. Um, you know, maybe we're going to set up something where we have a head and shoulders pattern where you have left shoulder, head, and then maybe we're going to come in here and make a right shoulder. Click, go. Well, there would be the right shoulder. There it goes. Okay. So that's very possible. And then we just maybe consolidate or even break down further. But for right now, selling, I mean, look at all this selling that happened. Buyers have to step in. And, you know, if it was a trade for me, it's probably going to be a quick one. And you're probably going to look to take it back to the 55, 70, 56 area. All right. That's really all I would be looking to get out of it. Maybe take half off there. Um, and see if it can continue. If not, you get out of the other half on the, on the breakdown. Last but not least, the XLU, similar situation. Had the breakout. Okay, we had the breakout from this consolidation. Broke out, straight back, tested. And again, any move over 52 um, may take us back up to new highs. We'll see. XLU, not looking the best out of... Uh, all the sectors but it is what it is so that's the sectors uh, let's take a quick look through I'm gonna go super quick because I know this video is somewhat long but we're gonna look at uh, a Agilent technologies all right and you can see here we've had this uptrend we, we've had a breakout that created this uptrend nice tight consolidation for the past five or six weeks new breakout and Stop would be somewhere around the 59 level. All right. Now with eight, with this one, with uh, Agilent, um, it's extended. All right. No doubt about it. This is an extended trade. Um, so you got to keep your stop tight. Maybe it's a smaller position than you would normally take. It's not consolidating after this long, long period and then breaking out. It's on a run and this is just a continuation of that run. So it's a different type of trade than if you got in it down here and you just have to be aware of that apple all right apple as you guys know i had a great trade in apple i uh, took it from like 116 up to 150 uh sold out of that now looks like maybe it's bottoming out and looking like maybe it wants to start a new run so this could be a spot where you add a little starter position on this pullback what happened okay you have this pullback breakout retest of these these uh, highs back in here from the end of March and now maybe we're gonna start getting a move so again maybe this is if it was me as a breakout trader I'm not really looking to take the pullback all right but if I was I would take half a position here all right so if I normally risk 1% I would risk half a percent here get in the trade and see if it can hold this 142 if it does and it eventually breaks out over 156 then I'll add my other half okay so again just a method to the madness it's it doesn't have to be complicated just smart um, what do we got here amp AMP you can see this breakout find the highs find the lows all right and I usually do the closing highs unless there's a, a bunch of wicks I usually do the closing highs and lows so that would be the closing high would be right there all right so you can see a breakout obviously some kind of resistance here at 135 as it's touched it three times including this week but getting in that trade with a stop under uh, 122 all right and an uptrend in place okay now there's one other thing that we have to be aware of and that is these highs back from looks like February of uh, 2015 and those are around 138 so again just something to be aware of BWA Borg Warner 
all right definitely in a downtrend but breaking out you know so this could be a reversal very similar to the win position that I'm in um, and looking at this if you wanted to uh, get it along this I would be looking at a new stop level around the 41 maybe 40 50 area uh, right through there we have 40 36 all right new breakout but again downtrend line in place previous support becomes new resistance around 50 and you can see I even have an alert in here because um, at one point I was taking a trade a short-term trade um, trying to get it thinking that this breakout was going to get me straight to 50 sure enough it came back failed and on the daily chart I got out all right but we're talking about the weekly chart here Rockwell Collins all right simple breakout nothing else to say there beautiful chart nice long consolidation all right for multiple years back through here and now we had the breakout we had a consolidation and we have another breakout confirming trend all right nothing else you can do there stop 102.50 uh, cognizant tech all right this one again similar to uh, the first one we looked at a breakout along an uptrend all right but looking at it further you also have some resistance right around 6970 all right 69270 um, so you have the breakout very well may break out a little bit more but get rejected so just keep that in mind dd dupont all right again this is one we've been on for a while just continues to make new breakouts did it again here new stop would be 80 and again if you're not a member of the jackrabbit club i'm not currently long dupont i wish i was but you know this is how i trade all right we have a breakout we have a new stop it goes up goes up consolidates we have a breakout we have a new stop and you can see those new stops are actually in uh in gray there okay it might be tough to see on the black screen but that's the point um, and now we have a new breakout so we have a new stop and we have the potential to add to that position Delphi automotive this was one that broke out uh, and again very simple break breakout similar to Rockwell Collins right up into new blue skies DOV uh, DOV uh, DOV, forget DOV. That probably was looking better before the end of the close. Dow, all right. Again, find the highs of the range. Okay, so that would be right here, the closing high. Find the low of that range, which would be right here. All right, and draw a box. One, two. All right, so you have two options for stops on this one. All right, well, first of all, let's draw the trend line in. Okay, but two options for your stop. One option is the low, around 61. The other option is this smaller consolidation, around 63. Your trade, you pick, all right? But needless to say, new breakout after a long period of sideways action. eBay, okay? eBay just continues to move, all right, along this uptrend. So there's your uptrend. Again, consolidation. Find the high right here. Find the low. Draw a box. Okay. Forget this one. Doesn't matter. Forget this one. Doesn't matter. It didn't close there. We're looking for closing moves. All right. And then your stop around 34. Call it 34. All right. But brand new breakout, new level for the stop. Facebook. All right. This one we've been waiting on for a little bit here. But you can see. All right. What do we have? Just this move. All right. I've been waiting for a good spot to get in. Then over the last, whatever, seven, eight, nine weeks, it's gone sideways. Finally, a new breakout. Find the low of that move. All right. 170, 147.50. A close below 147.50. I'm out. FISV. All right. Similar situation here been moving higher find the low of the previous pullback here's your very tight range all right FISV close below 84.50 I'm out 
MasterCard. All right, you could see had the trade here. Now we've been waiting on it. Sure enough, what did it do? Find the high, find the low, draw a line, or draw a box, then draw a line, the low. All right, so now if I was along MasterCard from 114, now my original stop would be 110. That stop now goes away. On this new breakout and I draw a new stop at 121 all right so now I have the opportunity to add to my position and bring my stop higher when I'm adding to my position I'm never never increasing risk okay doesn't happen all right two more here Microsoft real quick Microsoft is one that I actually am currently long and I've been long for a while but new breakout all right, so in the Jackrabbit Club, I'll be at seeing about potentially adding to the position, and I will be trailing stop up to that 67.50 area. And last but not least, end tap, nice strong breakout. This one's a little bit different in that it broke this downtrend line as well as the consolidation. All right, so as well as breaking the rectangle. But again pushing right into that high around 43.80 so I'll again another long one if you guys like these videos definitely give me a thumbs up uh, make sure you subscribe make sure you share them um, I think they're really important for what I do as a trader it really sets me up for the week um, and having a process like this that I can go through on a weekend when it's out of the hectic week or day-to-day -day market you know bullshit basically uh, you know, it, it just makes me a better trader. And I hope you guys enjoy these. I hope they are actually helpful for you. Uh, again, leave me a comment what you like, what you don't like. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you do like them. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. All right. Take care.